strong cluster ecosystems, there are established firms that have been successful in the cluster and they have an open collaborative culture wanting to collaborate with other companies and operators in the ecosystems they can act as flagship for the cluster there are also entrepreneurs and small innovative firms that bring innovation to the cluster faster than the more established companies can do. In strong ecosystems you also have universities that have world leading research and knowledge that they bring into the cluster. They have also an open collaborative culture and commercialize their knowledge and research into the cluster. A strong ecosystem also has a fair amount of investment. It should not just be public money. It's very important that there is private investors investing into the companies inside the ecosystem, showing that there is really value creation going on inside the cluster. And it's also very important that there are a fair amount of service providers. Service providers could be advisors, technical advisors, lawyers, accountants, different types of uh, advisors working with the companies, helping them to grow, helping them to structure a strong company. Now the presence of all these actors is not sufficient in a strong ecosystem. The turning point in a strong ecosystem is really the dense network here between all the different actors across borders, across cultures, but really seeing each other as important collaborative partners in the value creation going on inside a strong ecosystem. Now cluster organizations is one organization that could facilitate this dense network, that could help the partners in a strong ecosystem collaborate. But also serial entrepreneurs that have tried their way around, that have been successful, they are also good at connecting the different dots in the ecosystem. Or deal makers. Deal makers that are successful business people sitting in the boards of the different companies connecting the dots in the ecosystems. So working with this dense network is really thinking about how can we, how can we help facilitate it? How can we get the serial entrepreneurs involved? How can we get, and get the deal makers involved in building the network? or do what they already do, but do it more openly. Now, a strong ecosystem also has another important element. Those companies that have been successful in the cluster, they decide to reinvest, to reinvest back time and money and competences, network, their network, their skills, back into the ecosystems. We call these companies blockbusters. Blockbusters is a successful firm. A blockbuster is a successful firm that came out of the cluster. It might have even left this cluster, but it decides to reinvest and pay back and come back help, helping um, to build the ecosystem, either as investors or service providers or even as a a new entrepreneur um, starting a new company inside the, the cluster. Finally, any strong cluster, of course, should have a market. And the market could either be regional, national, but most likely the market in a successful cluster is a global market, really allowing the companies to uh, expand abroad 
and um, have the global market and the global challenges uh, as a driving force for the strong ecosystem.